Guys, I'm Chiefs reporter BJ Kissel down here at the Senior Bowl, and I'm joined by Bleacher Report's Matt Miller. Matt, we spoke before we came down here to the Senior Bowl, and you told me that the amount of talent along the defensive line was going to be one of the stories here. Seems like everybody we talked to has been talking about the yeah. D-line. Of those guys, who's really stood out to you this week? Well, Austin Johnson from Penn State has really just been a monster, and I think what's interesting about him is, you know, he has the body of a nose tackle, but he's able to get some push and actually get after the quarterback, which is kind of becoming the trend now. You don't just want a two-down space eater. He's been very good. Vernon Butler from Louisiana Tech to beat 330 pounds and move like he does. He was breaking out spin moves today at that size. Really impressive. Uh, Jihad Ward from uh, Illinois uh, before the injury. I thought he looked very good as a, a five technique. Again, a 300 pound guy who looks like he's about 270. So just played really, really well. Uh, Matt Ioannidis from Temple had a good week. As I mean, we could just keep going. Sheldon yeah. Day had a good week. All the D linemen on the North roster looked really good. Of the guys that uh, non-defensive linemen that came down here that really surprised you that you might have to go back and watch some more tape of, who are some of those guys? Well, I, I think that Braxton Miller, you know, you have to go back and look and say, okay, is, you know, he was not used great, so where's the production going to be? Um, he has splashed so hard down here, though. Just he's one of the most impressive guys that I've seen. And then Jason Spriggs, the tackle from Indiana, really interesting guy. I thought at times he didn't play like a power player on tape, but here he's been pretty impressive, you know, heavier hands. So he's one of those, you know, offensive tackles can make a lot of money here, uh, as you know. So it, it'd be a good opportunity for him. Obviously, it's really early in the draft process. A lot of work still to be done. But when you look at the end of the first round, Chiefs are at 28. Who are some of the guys that could be available about that time that were down here that impressed you? Yeah, well, Noah Spence from Eastern Kentucky maybe will be there. He's made himself a lot of money this week, so he could be pushed up the board a little bit. But he's absolutely been a player. And then, like we were talking about, on, along the D-line, excuse me, Austin Johnson, Vernon Butler, those guys, that's where I would expect them to start to come and play. Darian Thompson, the free safety from Boise State, I, I had him as a top 40 guy coming into here, but I wouldn't be shocked if he's late round one player. And one of the local guys I have to ask you about, because they heard a lot of positive things early in the week about him, was K-State's Cody Whitehair, a guy I know that you've watched. Uh, what do you see from Cody down here? Uh, Cody has lived up to expectations. You know, he's just a really good player, and it shows here. You know, the, the great thing is the technique, the leverage, the hand placement. He checks all those boxes. You know, knew he was going to be more, most comfortable at guard, and he's definitely lived up to all the hype that you heard for the last two years. He's just he's one of the best players here. That's the easiest way to put it. 65 toss, 65 toss power trap.